then it's okay to follow the opinion of the companions in that issue. Jazakallah Okay, I've um, got a question here from Sister Zainab. Um, she says, um, my question is about making dua after prayer. That's the supplication after the salah. She says, some people say, this supplication, uh, when you raise your hands straight after the salah with the imam, this is something uh, not, that, not from Islam, basically. She writes with here. the imam? Mm. After okay, the, so the imam is, is making supplication after, after the salah. Okay. So is this something from Islam? Is there evidence for this year? Okay. A general rule mm -hmm. for every Muslim to follow, and you'll feel much, much comfortable when you apply this in any form of worship you are performing. And that is, whatever is introduced to you of worship, let's say prayer, supplication, fasting, whatever anybody introduces to you, ask for the evidence from the Qur'an or from the Sunnah. It's not the other way around. It's not when I come and say, this is an innovation. It's not logical for a person to say, give me the evidence. Because the Prophet ﷺ did not list a whole list of innovations and you just cross uh, examine them and say, well, this has been already uh, uh, mentioned by the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ gave us a general rule and that is, whoever innovates in the religion that is not part of my teaching, then this is rejected. Therefore, anyone claiming that this is a form of worship, he has to provide the evidence. Mm -hmm. If he fails to do this, then this is an innovation. Likewise, the sister is ask, asking about a practice that is found in a number of Islamic countries, and that is, after the imam finishes or concludes his prayer, he looks either at the people behind him, or sometimes he, as he is, raises his hands after concluding the prayer and start to supplicate. Mm -hmm. Innovated supplications, and some of it is part of the Sunnah. But the Prophet ﷺ had never done this before or after. And the people praying behind him would say, Ameen, 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 as he go, goes on supplicating. It was never reported throughout the, 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 the ten years that the Prophet ﷺ spent, had spent in Medina. Mm -hmm. And he used to pray five prayers, leading the five prayers. Uh, 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 leading it, the, the congregation. <coughs> Never ever was it reported that he had done this once. Neither did his four companions, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali. And neither any of uh, 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 the companions had ever done such a thing. Therefore, we know, we understand, we can easily say without any hesitation that this is an innovation. And even if someone claims and said, well, this is an, something that is good, it's good innovation. Mm -hmm. we, we say that the Prophet ﷺ himself told us that every innovation is dalala, it's something that sets you astray and it, it would take a person who innovates to hellfire. So he did not segregate and say well we have good innovations and we have bad innovations. So what about the, the other scenario where the person actually just raises their hands by themselves after the salah, is this something which is uh, from the sunnah? Again, the Prophet ﷺ never did this and his companions had never done this. And besides, supplicating, as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy on his soul, he says that bef during prayer, before you conclude your prayer, this is the time for supplicating. And after you finish prayer, this is time for dhikr, for remembering Allah. And the evidence behind that is that the Prophet ﷺ, when he taught the companions how to say the tashahud and how to pray uh, uh, and ask Allah Azza wa to praise the Prophet ﷺ. at the very end of the salah mm -hmm. he told them that after you finish this before you conclude your prayer before you offer the salam you may supplicate as much as you want and you can ask Allah anything you wish so he told them and instructed them to make this uh, uh, period of prayer after the tashahud and before concluding the prayer, to supplicate. Specific for supplication. Yes. And after salam, mm -hmm. he taught them how to make dhikr. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar, three times, uh, uh, the, reciting the ayat al-kursi, uh, the verse of kursi, and the last three chapters of the Quran, and so on.